Daddy, there is this man and woman that we are dating. So it got to a point the lady felt like this man is not good enough for her to be an husband. So she dumped him and got married to another man. So along the line, this other man she got married to as her husband went broke. Even the lady went broke, like things went bad for them. They couldn't pay house rent, children school fee, even to feed was a problem. So this lady called that her ex back asking him for financial assistance to help her husband pay the house rent, school fees, and bills. Do you think that the woman did right to call the ex for financial help? Well, I don't think the, the lady has done well to call the man. Since she, she was able to neglect the man when she thought the road was good for her. If the man had been in her own shoe, the man couldn't pay her his own rent and he called the husband of the lady and asked him to pay his rent. Will the husband, will the husband want to do it since he would, the husband will know that he's already an ex of my wife. How can I pay his house rent? So these things are in two ways. The other way is that if the man has a heart of gold, yes, he can just think, well, bygone has been bygone. God never said that we will be. But whatever is in my possession, I will be able to assist. He will be assisting, but there is no law that is holding the man to do it. It's just a, an act of compassion. If you have compassion for the lady and feel, well, during the time you were both together, things were working well. well I can still stretch a hand of help to, to assist. So now what do you have to tell those uh, ladies who abandon their ex to marry a man that they feel is better than go back asking their ex for help? Now what I would tell them is the journey of life in marriage is not something you can see at a short distance. Marriage, they say, is forever. You see, so I advise ladies, they don't, don't look at the financial aspect of life. That thing is just transient. It's just for a while. It's just for a while. Somebody who is a billionaire today may become poor tomorrow. And somebody who is poor today may become a billionaire tomorrow. But God is the only one that can tell you if you pray and God can order your step in getting married. But if you use your own conscience and say, I'm going to marry this man because he's rich, it may not end up well. Do you think calling an ex for financial help was wrong or right? To me, it's not wrong, actually. Because... Um, regardless of what has happened, let the past be the past. She understand. I can't say that what the lady did was was right by dumping the guy because you don't know the future. Now the guy that you dumped yesterday later got rich today, and you need his help today. Then you discover that you need to go to him for for an assistance. To me, if I'm the guy, I will actually help the lady. Probably, maybe the lady is not even my my wife. Initially, she understands because the way God works, God works in in mysterious ways that we don't, we cannot explain. I know initially the guy might actually be angry that ah this lady dumped me for another man, and oh, maybe that is actually his blessing. Maybe it was as soon as the lady left, God opened doors. So if the guy can actually see it from another perspective, that uh, thank God that this lady left me. Then as soon as she left me, God opened doors for me. To me, I will help the lady. So that angle is coming from someone that has a different view of point like a Christian. So in the other angle, if you were to be the lady's husband, are you not going to kind of feel bad like your wife going back to the ex for financial help because definitely is down? If I'm the guy, I will actually feel bad as well because I would think that maybe she's trying to get along with the guy. And you know how guys and ladies, you know how we behave like this jealous of a thing. If I'm the guy, I will feel bad. Now, why are you going back to your ex-husband for an assistant? It might not actually be an assistant. Maybe you're actually, actually trying to make things up. So the guy will be scared that, ah, this lady too will leave me. She understands. So that's how it is. So if you were to be the wife, will you tell your husband, your present husband, because he's broken in the assistant, that you want to go and meet your ex for financial help? Or are you just going to do it codedly? I'll tell my husband. You're going to tell your husband. Yes, I'm just telling him. Okay, thank you very much. And even if I even need the assistant, we might actually go together. Before going, I'll even call the ex husband. Please, I need an assistant to blah, blah, blah. Okay, come so, so, so they come to my office. And I'll tell him it is me and my husband that is coming. You know. I think it's wrong, all right, for a woman that dumped a, a man and got married to someone else to ask for help. 
to me it's very wrong like what anything x is x anything that has to do with x because for you to leave the man and go for another person you feel it's better for you so why the heck will you go back to that person to ask for assistance that's an insult to your husband and i you know waiting the fire up and down so anything that has to do with x yeah, for me is wrong and i don't i don't even like it I don't like my husband talking to my ex, to his ex or anything, or me talking to my for what now? So I don't like it. It doesn't make any sense. So it's 100% wrong. So now what do you have to tell these married women who go about calling their ex and asking them for help? Eh, I'll tell them. Yoba will say, So they should buckle up and work hard at least. Now, social media is easy for people to access and you can run business online, you can do anything. So try to strive at and be an independent, independent person. You don't have to depend on anybody. Your self-respect has to do with being, when you're independent, it's, it commands more respect for you. So if you're a woman that have dignity and you, you, you value your, your, self, your self-respect, you won't want anything to do with your hex. You understand? It's an insult, it's an insult to your present um, boyfriend. It's better, you'd rather remain single or stay with your ex like that. So what's the point in moving on when you know that you still have feelings for the person or you still want to go back to the person for anything? That's bullshit to me. Thank you very much. So Guy, do you have a babe? Um, yeah, yeah, I have one. So let's assume that this your babe, at a point she felt that you are not good enough to be her husband. She dumped you and got married to someone else. So at a point that guy she got married to got broke. They couldn't pay house rent, children's school fee and all of that. And that your ex that dumped you called you back to help her. So what are you going to do? Are you going to help her? Um, it's simple. She left me because I'm not her type. Uh, the person that is her type <laughs> should have everything to help her. Um, I don't think I'm going to help her, uh, uh, to be fair, to be straight. She don't leave me now. Uh, the guy that she leave me for is supposed to get her money to help her. I don't think I'm going to help her. To cut the long story short, no, I'm not going to help her. So there is no way you are going to help her for God's sake? It depends, though. If it is life-saving, I might. But even if it is life-saving, I would still consider the fact that she left me at first. So I don't know, but... It depends though, it depends. That's all I can say. So why will you not help her? Like do you want like you want to teach her a lesson or something? Not teaching her a lesson. See this life um, um relationship for this my generation, na business. You understand? So we don't already know how they go, say na business. So as in I would not take that time, like no, you don't leave me, you don't go do business somewhere. The business don't pay you, remember me, it's not going to work. I'm not going to take that chance. So what, what advice do you have to give to this lady out there that is with their men and think that a man is not... <coughs> Sorry, cut that part. So what advice do you have to give to that lady out there that is thinking of leaving that a guy because she thinks he's not good enough for her? <laughs> My advice for her is to be patient. Patient, patient. That guy, when you get today, tomorrow if you get... This life, um, um, every, this life is transcendent. Let me put it that way. Things change, so change is constant. So just be patient. Things go do okay. If you don't get today, you go get tomorrow. That's all I can say. Thank you. All right, thank you. Are you an artist? Yeah, yeah, I'm a music artist. What is your name, please? Um, Stasi Pounds. All right, thank you.